we are going to go over what exactly I custom ordered for my Ford Transit cargo van 250 medium roof and long wheelbase. I kind of freaked out a little bit because I got an email from Ford thanking me for my custom order XL. Ford Transit Cargo yada yada XL and I was like oh my goodness did I accidentally order the extra long because I do not want the extra long so I confirmed with the dealer that no that's just like their XLT would have been the extra long I guess why why it doesn't translate from online to the dealership I don't know because they, they just do long EL for extra long online and then the dealership it's like totally different. So we're going to go over the options that I chose and the overall price that it is going to cost me. I got the carbonized gray metallic and that was an extra $200. I got the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Bob, maybe don't ask Bob, maybe that was what you were inquiring about. That was $2,495. I got the all-wheel drive. That is on my breakdown, like it's showing zero. So whatever. Uh, that's the 10 speed automatic overdrive transmission with select shift. I stuck with the 3.73 limited slip axle. I was like, what the heck is this? Because I think the other one was a 4.1 maybe. And basically what I read is that the 3.73 it helps with lower gears like giving you more strength in, in lower gears and so I figured I'm not going to tow a lot but I have the capability to tow 6,500 pounds that if I'm towing or if I'm just crawling up steep terrain that the lower gear option would be better. I did get the heavy duty trailer tow package and the RV prep package. I think that some of these are going to be a zero because I think that they just are included with the package I got. Like there's a lot that comes with the RV prep package. So that was $4,665 for the RV prep package. I got the matte black alloy wheels for $1,050. It's with the 235 BSW all season tires. I will be doing different tires all terrain on that. And then I just stuck with the short arm power adjusting, power folding, heated mirrors with turn signals because I just kept thinking about the Toyota Sequoia with the long armed mirrors and how people were calling them moose antlers. So uh, it comes with a modified vehicle wiring system. I did get the privacy glass, which gives me a window in the sliding glass door and the two windows in the back doors. The wheel well liners front only I got black. I don't yeah that was $295. Running board I just got the shorter running board which was $310. I did get the keyless entry pad because if I do end up renting this which is my plan uh, that will be nice. I can just set them a code for whoever rents it and they can be on their way. So that was $95. Bumper front is body colored, the spare tire and wheel. I did get remote start for $495. And heavy duty front axle. I did get the extended fuel tank which when you select the auxiliary fuel port extension line, that just adds on the extended fuel tank. So I went from 26 gallons to 31 gallons and that fuel port extension line will allow me to hook up a gas heater, which there are some areas in the van. I mean, I'm not gonna cheap out on my van, but there's some areas where I'm just not going to get the off-brand stuff. So I will be getting a Wabasto heater uh, I'll be doing a really nice battery system set up in there. Uh, let's see, I got the blind spot assist 1.0, reverse sensing system, front sensing system, side sensing system, and dual AGM batteries. Some of these, I think they just come with the RV prep package. I did add the dual alternator 250 amps each for 1000 
$25. And I did add the 360 degree camera with split view and front washer for $1,000. I just thought that that was going to be great. And I was actually going to add the reverse braking and then the parallel parking assist, which would have been like over $2,000, but I decided I'll go with the 360 camera and that should take care of everything. And I'm really good at parallel parking and, and all that. And then I just stuck with the black trimmed halogen headlamps. I didn't, I mean, I think that the new nice high tech headlamps look great, but yeah, I didn't really care. I only have the basic headlamps now, so I really am not gonna know what I might be missing if I'm missing anything. Then it comes with the wiper activated headlamps, exterior lighting, front fog lamps, uh, roof marker lamp delete. Yeah, so I guess like the ProMasters, they have the roof lights up top. And then the windows, fixed glass and rear door and passenger side cargo door is $425. I just thought that rather than me putting those windows in, because I mean, I have watched so many YouTube videos and some are older than others, but some people have had a hard time finding windows and I will be putting other windows in myself, but I'll have those done. And then it just comes with the dark Palazzo and it also comes with the four-way manual swivel and manual swivel manual swivel driver and passenger seats okay that is awesome i got the heavy duty scuff plate kit which is um like when you step into the cargo door sliding door and then in the back barn doors i wanted to add the flooring and just the wall kits since i'm not going to be building it out right away but that was not an option. So I'm wondering if the heavy duty scuff plate kit is gonna, if that maybe they'll have some kind of flooring. If not, we'll have to figure something out. I did add cargo tie down hooks cause I'll be using those for my, just my basic build to get into it and travel. Uh, I added the vehicle maintenance monitor and I added the large center console for 195 so that extends the like where the cup holders are in the center and i added the front overhead shelves for 75 dollars. i will be adding to that shelf there are companies out there that have the option like brackets you can buy the brackets to hook into where the shelf connects and then put in an, another shelf but just the brackets cost 130 dollars but maybe that's reasonable. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out ways to maybe do my own bracket somehow. There are many companies out there I've realized that have a lot of kit options already for you. I mean, you don't even have to like think about it. You just buy a kit and put it in, but they are so expensive. There's one company that has the plans for the wall kit that you can buy, you know, the templates. So I went and looked those up and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, I won't have to like trace it out myself. Well, the template is $500. And this company in an updated video they just recently put out said that they think of themselves as the Ikea of van builds. Well, Ikea prices are not $500 for a template, okay? Woo, wee. There are some on Etsy I have seen that I think are 130. <clears throat> so there will be floor covering dash front carpet. I don't know. Uh, illuminated sun visor. So it has the mirror light in the sun visor. Rear view mirror. I think with the rear, I, I don't know. Why is that on there? Anyway no rear seat but if i want to travel with three people i'm thinking there are ways that you can add i think it's that l track in the floor and there are these smart seats that you can add if you are traveling with more than two people because so i'll only have two seats and then i did get the intelligent access with push button start for 370. it's coming with the power outlet 400 watt power outlet and I did get the full rear compartment lighting for $75 because like I said, I will just have a basic build and I figure that that might be helpful. We'll see. 
and the auxiliary fuse panel with high spec interface connector, whatever that is. And then it comes with the 12 inch multifunction display with Sirius XM. I can't even believe Sirius XM is like still a thing. I remember when it came out and I was like, ooh. Um, connected with built-in navigation, three years of service. That must have been what the dealer was talking to me about. He's like, they were telling me that for the first five years for $9, you get this tracking option, okay? So if somebody else is driving your van, you can track them. And then after the five years, it's like $100 and you know you can track them and see where the car is on the app and which i think is amazing but now that i see this i am wondering if that is what they were talking about connected built-in navigation well no maybe that's just i can navigate it on my screen uh three years of service oh yeah with intelligent adaptive cruise control and intersection assist I think intersection assist is when the cars in front of you leave and you're not leaving yet. And it's like, go. Okay. So we are now to the overall price actually, which is, so my price came out differently. This, that was what I built online, but this is what the dealership built. And there is some, a discrepancy about let's see here like a 200 just over 200 dollars discrepancy in the price so on here the base msrp for the 250 eco boost all-wheel drive was fifty four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars the options cost, before I talk about what the cost of the options are, I will mention that the reason I didn't go with the transit trail is because I don't like that they already put the roof vent in there. Okay, I wanna figure out where I want that exactly. And I've, ha I've heard that some of them leak and the transit trail is having all the issues with the, the lift and the bigger tire, like the lift doesn't even do anything and they put bigger tires on that rub. Uh, yeah, and I just, I even priced it out based on the, the options that I wanted and versus the trail. And the trail came out to be more than what, uh, with all the options I wanted was. And I could not add the 360 degree camera on the transit trail. What the heck? What the heck? I still wouldn't have gotten it. So the options I got are $13,575. There's a destination charge of $2,000. So the total MSRP, and there's some discrepancy, like I mentioned in there. So the, the price from the dealer, bruh, bruh, here we go. So the final total for my custom cargo van is $70,275 and discounts. Did I ask about a military discount? I don't even know. Because Toyota offers one. So anyway, uh, yeah, my plan is I'm getting an 84 month loan term, but I will be paying it off sooner than 84 months. That's the plan. And hopefully with the help of YouTube AdSense. So I hope people will tune in for the van build and van travel. I am so excited about it. I ordered this on April 20th, uh, it was not on purpose, but it was April 20th. And I'm just like almost counting down the days. I don't have a build yet. Simon, uh, somebody who's been commenting on my van videos, he already has his van build date for June. So hopefully I will be contacted soon with my van build date. It is, what's today? The 7th, the 6th, the 6th of May. And Ford did mention that, because I was already pre-approved, because I thought I needed to be pre-approved before I went in. That's a lamb. What the heck? Hi! Looks pregnant. Anyway. Um, a sheep? That's not a lamb, that's a sheep. Lambs are babies. That's a grown-up. So, anywho... What was I even saying? Oh yeah, so I was a pre-approved through USAA 
And they said that they would honor MSRP through USAA, even if I didn't go through the dealer. Oh, another couple of things now that I remember. Some people have asked me questions on my last video. And one was about insurance. So I priced out what my insurance would be. And I think the reason that this person asked me that is because insurance on a cargo van can be extremely expensive. And I was gonna say I can understand why, but I can't because like, I mean, there was a video I watched, people are paying like $1,000 a month or something on interest. I don't know, when they use it for actual cargo transport. I am not doing anything like that. So my van is kind of currently in a gray area. I don't need to get a business loan for it because I'm in a gray area. Now, once everything is built out, uh, things will change in terms of insurance, but I priced out my insurance with USAA specifically. And once I get the VIN number, then I will have that all squared away. But I was priced at $135 for insurance. And I wish I would have gotten the, I mean, I got like the, the gap insurance, which adds, I think it was 20% on, like if I total it or it gets totaled, then it adds 20% of the value of the car to it so that I won't be at a deficit, most likely if it is totaled. And I mean, that's, you know, roadside assistance, all the things, but things might change, like I said, once I get the VIN number. Can't think of any other questions that came up, but uh yeah i'm so excited i cannot wait for the process to move along and get monthly email updates from ford with the progress of my van so we'll see how it all goes anyway let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on van build videos i really like explorist.life they have a great great channel very helpful i love humble road Love Humble Road and the extruded aluminum. And uh, anyway, so that is all for this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.